All right, overloaded constructors. By using overloaded constructors, this is a technique to create multiple constructors within the same class, much like that video on overloaded methods. So with overloaded constructors, multiple constructors can have the same name, but they need a different set of parameters because a method's name plus its parameters equals a unique method signature, and each method must have their own unique signature. So let's create a class named pizza, and there's going to be four fields. Let's have string bread for the type of bread we would like for our pizza. Like, is it flatbread, stuffed crust, plain? A field for sauce, cheese, and topping. Then let's create a constructor. Public pizza. And then we need to set up the parameters. String bread. String sauce, string cheese, and string topping. And then we'll need to assign these. This dot bread equals bread. This dot sauce equals sauce. This dot cheese equals cheese. And this dot topping equals topping. All right, then let's construct a pizza object. Pizza, let's call this pizza, all lowercase, equals new pizza. Then we need to pass in something for the bread, the sauce, the cheese, and the topping, because we can't construct a pizza object without bread, sauce, cheese, and a topping. We need all four in order to construct a pizza object. So let's pass in something for the bread. Let's say I would like a stuffed crust pizza. Stuffed crust for the sauce, let's say red sauce. And the cheese, what about mozzarella? I don't remember how to spell mozzarella. Mozzarella, I'm taking a guess here. And a topping, pepperoni. So we can construct a pizza object just fine, right? But what if we would like a pizza without any toppings, like a plain cheese pizza? So I'm going to get rid of that topping. Well, we can't construct a pizza without a topping. We need to add something because we only have one constructor set up and we need to pass in something for a topping. So one way in which we could solve this problem is to have multiple constructors, overloaded constructors. We can pass in a varying amount of arguments. So if we would like a cheese pizza without any toppings, we can use that specific constructor that will construct a plain cheese pizza. So let's copy this constructor. They can have the same name, but they need a different set of parameters. So I'm going to remove this topping parameter, and we will not assign this dot topping equals topping, and we can now create a plain cheese pizza. And let's do the same thing with, I don't know, maybe somebody doesn't want cheese on their pizza. So pizza with only bread and sauce. And then another pizza with only bread. I'm not even really sure if it's considered a pizza then. Maybe it's garlic bread or something, but I don't know though. We can now create a pizza object that has no toppings, no cheese, and no sauce. So by using overloaded constructors, we can construct objects with varying amounts of fields. Maybe we would like toppings, maybe we don't. Well, we have a choice now. So yeah, that's overload constructors. It's a technique to create multiple constructors with a different set of parameters. They can share the same name, but you need a different set of parameters because a constructor's name plus its parameters equals a constructor's signature, and each constructor needs a unique signature. So yeah, those are overloaded constructors in C Sharp. If this video helped you out, help me out by smashing that like button. Leave a random comment down below, and well, yeah, those are overloaded constructors in C Sharp.